I just love uh, I love triathlon because I love the variety. I I love the community. I love that it takes you all around the world. Uh, yeah, you can see some amazing places like this, like Maluluba, and they add the, I love the challenge of it. And yeah, it's it's a great sport. <laughs> yeah, I started as a swimmer, surprisingly. I'm not very good at it still, but <laughs> that's what my swimming coach suggested me that all the other kids are doing uh, triathlon in the summer. Would you like to try? And uh, do you have a bike? I'm like, yes, I have a bike. I tried it and um, I fell in love from the first race. And finally, I felt that I'm good at something and I love the variety of the sport and the challenge. And now that was already, I think, 12 years ago, the time has gone really fast, so yeah, I'm still loving it like, <laughs> yeah, the same way. In 2012, I was still a junior, but people were starting to ask me, are you going to the Olympics? That was uh, London. I was like, oh, no, of course not. I haven't, uh, I haven't done anything to qualify to the Olympics yet, but that's when I started to think, okay, but the next one in Rio, like, uh, I, I want to go for that. And yeah, and when I qualified for Rio, and uh, that was very, very, very special to to qualify and just to be there, and I really took it in. And yeah, the result itself maybe wasn't the best, but I hope I will have a new another opportunity in 2020, which is already around the corner. There are some certain World Cups where we have a, have the team, we have the coach, and we are we're all together. And also we get a financial support. They help us with the travel. So, but I think for me the biggest uh, help has been just to be in in a race, uh, to, to be surrounded by people. Especially when I was younger, I felt that that helped a lot to follow what the other more experienced athletes were doing. And now I feel that I'm in that role. Uh, but yeah, and just to have to know that these uh, people are always believing in you and supporting you, it's uh, it's very important. And yeah, it's, I'm very grateful to to be in that team. <laughs> yeah, this year we started a fun little hobby thanks to our uh, new uh, squad mate Valerie, and uh, we started painting. So <laughs> that's a really uh, fun uh, fun activity to relax and uh, yeah, we uh, have a piece, uh, we have a very decent gallery already. <laughs> Well, obviously, the main goal is to qualify for the Olympics. So, yeah, I'm doing the races that I feel suit best for me, and uh, I, I don't have like my qualifying criteria doesn't target any specific races. So I don't, I don't have to focus on anything specific. But yeah, I still want to do well in the European Championships, and I'm definitely going to do the test event to see the course, and uh, yeah learn learn from that race and yeah I just tried to do my best in every race <laughs> I've had the highs and I had the lows I think just the highs overweigh the lows and when you yeah all the yeah when you have this uh, this moment that you yeah for example for me it was winning a bronze medal at home in the European Spring Championships that overweighed all the all the lows I had, so I feel like you just have to push through the the bad times, and uh, because yeah, the good ones are are coming. <laughs>